Assalamualaikum and a very good day student. Today we meet again. So we're going to continue our Joomla lessons. So please uh, open back your cloud control panel account and access back your Joomla account. So please log in to the uh, administrator page. So for today, I'm going to show you on how to install a few extension and how to use the con context and how to create a context using the Joomla. Alright, so first of all, I need you to go to the extensions, uh, go to manage and install. Alright, I need you to uh, go to upload package file, Audi, create, uh, Audi download one, uh, uh, what we call, uh, uh, modules or extension that you're going to use for today this is the j event so let's say you have an event for your company then you want to display to your audience in your website you can use this uh, uh, this uh, component or events uh, sorry extensions so the extension called j events right so just click here choose Right, it will take a few times to do this one. Alright, after completing this one, right, you will have this message. The installation of the package was successful. Alright, and how to do this one? Okay, you can go to the component. Okay, this is the new component that we already installed. So just click to this component. Alright. So, alright, this is my component. <coughs> Just click save first. Right, make sure you click save. And then you can go, this is the basics. This is the intermediates and advanced. Alright. So, save and close. Alright, when you save and close, you will come up with this uh, J event control panel all right <coughs> so the first the best thing first you can create the category for any event or you just simply create a new event so to create a new event just click this manage event and then you can click a new event all right you can give your event title for example let's say this is IT show right so you can select the user eh? who are the user right let's say this is Amin right <coughs> and then uh, okay this is the message that you can uh, provide to your audience right you also can insert the pictures and so on for example let's say I insert uh, a picture Okay, let's try to insert a picture. Oh, you need to know the source of the picture first. Uh, Alright, uh, can you cancel this one? Save and close first. Later on, we can edit this thing and go to your control panels. I can go to media. <coughs> okay, maybe I'll just upload here the picture. Right, this is the name of my picture. Events, right? The easy way. Let's say I rename this one first. This is event, right? Let's choose and upload. Okay, let's try again. Can you go to the <coughs> J event? Go to manage event, right? 
this IT road show, I can edit it. Right, uh, try to insert the image. It should be under image slash uh, events that JPEG. Hopefully this one works. Oh, yeah, this is my event pictures, and then you can put some uh, some info here. Right? Put some some info regarding the event. <coughs> For example, like the date, time, and so on. Right time the location and so you can put this one right and also you can put the location here right let's say this is the if i don't want to put here i can put here the location let's say this is a hotel uh, let's say istana hotel kuala lumpur for example uh, this is the contact person, let's say Muhammad. Alright, uh, uh, let's say this is a uh, general uh, promotion manager, right? <coughs> let's say this is a contact number all right just put anything that you want to put here okay and then you can go to the calendar here right all right the calendar here is the actually the date where it when the event is occur so you can put calendar here let's say the event start on uh, second right June and we end until 5th June, for example. Right? If you if this event is a multi-day event treatment, you can put this one. So this multi-day event appear on each of the day. You need it every single day from this uh, Tuesday until Friday. You will, you will open. You will show the events. Right? If 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 you don't want to appear in every day, you just put no. All right, and then. And then you can click save and close. Right, how now how to add the event to your uh to your page? Let's say the event I want to put below the the web banner here. So what I can do, right, we can try do like this. This one can you go to the modules here? Alright, once you go module, there is a few of event, right? This is latest event. We got to use this one, the latest event, and also the calendar modules. So, can you publish this item? J event latest event modules, right? And click here. Right. Uh, let's try. Okay. Uh, the position here. Okay, let's say I want it to be on my uh, top one LP top one. So make sure you re remember these positions. So this is you can change the title. Let's say this company event, All right? All right. And then can you go to menu assignment here? Uh, just want it to be appear in my uh, in my home page. So don't select this one. Alright, and save. Close. Now there is one more setting that you have to do. Go to the template and go to the just simply here all right go to layout configuration i want it to be in on the top position which is the uh, this one. Oh. 
okay this is my uh, banner this is my uh, sorry this is my menu this is my banner and then the event should be on spotlight too so what i need to do i just open the uh, spotlight tool on the spotlight tool and change the the position it should be lp top one if i'm not mistaken right okay you can have the background you can change the background for examples uh, let's see i just put that gray background I can give a name section let's say this is company event right and I can save and close and try to preview right this is my uh, company events right so okay Okay, maybe beside the company event, I want to put the calendar also. So what I can do, I can do something like this. Uh, can you go to extension, go to the modules. Just turn on the calendar. Right, and assign the module for the calendar. Seems like the event position which is the LP top one LP yeah, top one All right this is my calendar okay, save and close try to preview All right okay why this one won't come out okay let's try to go back to here uh, where is it? Uh, calendar. Yeah. I haven't assigned the menu for the calendar. So this one should be on main menu only. Save and close. Enter to refresh. Right. My calendar will be here. Alright. So this is the thing what you can do. Right you can put the calendar here right <coughs> now maybe I'm going to add uh, another one which is the contact here or maybe the staff directory so in order for you to do this exercise I need you to have a few photo like this the contact photo four or five is enough so what you can do sorry uh, right can you go back to the admin site? Okay, okay, we can con create a contact here. You just go to the component menu, click contacts. Right, the best way you click the category first. Let's say I just give a new category here. Just put like a management, right? Management, uh, save and close. All right now, I click the contact. Just click contact and then click new. Okay. Let's try to refresh back this thing. All right. So, click new. Okay. So, this is the first contact. Let's say Muhammad Haikal Ben Mana, for example. All right. Uh, you can put the image. You can select the image, right? I can upload the image first. Upload all. Start uploading. All right. Uh, okay. Let's say this is Muhammad Hakal. Insert the position. Let's say this is a uh, uh, director. Maybe I can put here is company director. Right, I can put the email address. Let's say I call ID solutions .com. I can put the address. This is up to you, right? Uh, for example, right? This is up to you. 
you can put like this you can fill all these things right you can put the phone number for example right okay you can put the fax number this is up to you again and right and don't forget to assign the category here okay you can put some miscellaneous information about the ahmad all right, uh, you can put some miscellaneous information here. Information about the contact. You can put more details about the contact. You can put display here, right? Uh, but this one I will show you later how to do this one, right? All right. So I already have one contact here, and I can add another one. Let's say this is uh. Right, another context. Um, all right, let's see. This is IT manager. All right, you can feel all the things. Right, all right, seems close like the first one. Okay, uh, I can add another one. I'll make sure you change the category here. Uh, right, this is the another one. Right. Okay, please fill the other information and then the last one. Right. Please fill others information. All right, and then all right, save. Okay, I have a few here. All right, oh so see Zara, this one I forgot to assign the category, all right? Okay, now how to display this one to the uh, what we call to the to your home page. Right, I need to. Can you go to this one first? Global configurations. And can you go to contacts? Is there any contact here? Contact. Yeah, contact here. Alright, the layout. Of, okay. You can hide the category if you want to show the category. You can show, right? And you can show the contact list so that the user can select. This is the display format. You can put slider, tag, or plane. You can try one, one, one by one. This one, right? Okay. You can show the name, the contact of the person. If you want to show the email address, right? Uh, this one if the the user want to email to the use uh, to this contact uh, allow them to email and you can put here right this is all the information that you want to be appear in the the the, the page if you don't want to appear, appear so you just hide this one for example like the country I don't want to display right so address this is up right um okay uh, if you don't want to show the miscellaneous information just hide it that you also can put the v card so that the people can download the information about the 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 contacts right 
uh, okay and then you also can show the contact links also right if you want if they have the let's say facebook and so on right you can show the contact links or you can hide it right you can put the icon here this one and thing all right uh, the category right if you want to show the category title you can show here and what else this is the category list layout right and you can put like display select this one you can test an error later on right and image if you want to show the image right the pictures of the contacts the position i want to show the the email also right the mobile also this one i won't show right this is a form right if they want to email or message the contact all right just click save and close now can you go back to the uh, modules still in contact here This is my contact. Okay, so can you go to articles? We try to create one articles. Click new articles. All right. I got internet problems. All right. Uh, try again. All right. So this is my uh, uh, let's say stuff. Uh, right all right so can you see the word contact here all right you can click here then all right you can select all the contact here or let's see let's try to create a module first create new modules I go to custom or oh, okay uh, forgot about this one right uh, can you just go to menu right uh, go to main menu just straight away click the menu for the contact from here just click new all right this is the this is staff directories okay the menu item here select context yeah so there is a few type of contact here features list all contact category list contact in a categories or single contact so since i have only one category i can select this one if i have if i have more than one category i should select this one if i want to view only a single contact i should select this one but in this case i want to sell i want to view the context in a category so i just select this one all right and then select the category so the category should be management all right and then i just click save all right try to preview all right stuff directory should be here when i click all right so the information about the user is here all right i can click here uh, this is the detail about the stuff okay you can download the card you can go to the contact form so the user can give their name and message and then send email so this time we, we receive the email from the users right or you can select other one like this right so this is how you can uh, create a context right okay so this is okay we move to another lessons okay go back to your this is to be the last lesson for today 
uh, I'm going to show you on how to create the visitor counter so that we can count how many uh, user that already visit our website so please go to extension first we need to install the the we call the extensions already prepared a station for you actually there is a lot of visitor counter a template or visitor counter extension from the website you can always go to the jomla.org to download the extension but for this exercise i'm going to use this extension which is the name of the extension is vnora visitor counter right you can use other one it's up to you right and then just click this one make sure you publish it open it and this will make sure you assign the position okay uh, let's say i want to this visitor counter to be appear on my uh, let's say uh beside this company event or maybe i can put below the 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 articles so what i can do right just select any position here let's say lp put one right uh, visitor right so i just give name this one to visitor and menu assignment don't forget i want it to be appear let's say in all page so all page we have this one all right so click save and close and go to the extension again go to the templates we have to assign the positions of the extension so in this case uh, go to layout configuration i want it to be about at the bottom of my page on the bottom spotlight one so the position should be lp put one if i'm not mistaken yeah this one all right uh, you can give a color it's up to you right let's say good dark color here uh, this is a visitor counter for example all right and save and close try to preview right this is my visitor counter so today there is one person already logged into my uh, my website so i think you can remove this one so how to remove this one it's very easy you have to go back to the modules all right um just release this one clear <coughs> okay open back this visitor counter and then uh, go to modules hide the show title here okay save and close i can refresh back right so this is my visitor counter so right student i think it's enough for today uh, we're going to continue with other lesson in the following week thank you for having my class today assalamualaikum